there's a phrase that goes through both the Gospel of Luke and its sequel, the Book of the Acts. And that phrase is being filled with the Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, there are moments and stories in, in, in that book where they say, and so-and-so being filled with the Spirit goes off and does something wonderful. And early Quakers, I think, felt that they themselves were filled with that same Spirit. So it was really that experience. Some of it was structure and so forth, or lack thereof, but I think the fundamental thing was that experience of being filled and led by the Holy Spirit. Early Quakers yearned for a revival of primitive Christianity because in their experience, the, the life of the, of the established church around them was one of form without substance. You could have a ritual, you could have a program, you could have a structure, uh, but you could, ha but but it could be there with with no um, no electricity running through the wires. So imagine going to a church service. Okay, you're supposed to say some prayers, whether those prayers speak what you're feeling at that moment or not. Uh, you're supposed to recite a creed that contains someone else's theological reflections that you may or may not uh, agree with. You're supposed to sing some hymns. And you know, there's the old joke, why aren't Quakers good at singing hymns? Because they're always looking ahead to see whether or not they agree with the words. Well, that's where that comes from, you know, that you can be, uh, you can force someone in a sense in that circumstance to sing something that is dishonest for them. And then you listen through a sermon and uh, a good Puritan sermon has been crafted for days by the um, uh, by the preacher who's given a lot of thought to it but if it's all up here in your head but not in your heart if it's uh, all you're in your books but not led by an immediate sense of divine presence it's form without substance the same thing for the sacraments uh, there was a lot of debate going on about uh, communion and about baptism what they ought to look like, uh, how such circumstances, su such uh, rituals should be should be performed, what the theological and spiritual meaning of these experiences uh, ought to be, and uh, uh, if communion meant union with God, you can have the formal uh, elements of communion, but no real unity, no sense of of of, of union with God happening. And so form without substance uh, was their experience of the, of the, the organized churches. And they said, uh, we're going to get together and let the Spirit guide us. And that may lead us in radical directions, like even women ministering, which was shocking. Perhaps one of the most shocking parts of their message to those around them.